Pleased with the way the guys are coming through with clutch wins and on the road no less. Are they giving you everything you're asking of them right now? Yeah, they're playing hard. They're competing hard and it's uh, big games every night playing teams that are we're fighting with for a playoff position. So we're uh, really happy with the performance. I think it's fun this time of year. When we say it before every game, this is fun. This is why you play, uh, you know, sometimes you go through, feels like a grind earlier in the year so that we can be in these types of games. And it's tough, it's, there's a price to be paid to win, but uh, it's worth it in the end and we're, we're doing the job. You guys have yet to beat Milwaukee on home ice and haven't had a win since November. What do you guys need to do to kind of get that going Friday? Uh, I don't know. I think it's just coincidence. Uh, I think we played, when I look back at the games, we played pretty well here against them. I think we've controlled the games, but uh, the thing about that team is they, they can put the puck in the net. They have some uh, offensive weapons that if you give them some clean looks, uh, they're going to score. And that's kind of what's, what's happened uh, when we played them. I think overall we play control most of the game, but uh, when we make a mental mistake, it's in the back of our net, and that's kind of why I think we don't have as many points as, as we should against them. So um, we've talked about already, talked about it today, uh, what we're preparing for, and we'll look for a complete effort and, and look to you know, limit their clean, clean looks as much as we can. The majority of your games are going to be on the road, so you're going to have to get points at home here uh, to finish out the season. What, what is it going to take to get those points at home? I think regardless of whether home or on the road, we know we got to get points every night, and it's been like that for a while. Uh, and we look at the schedule. February was kind of our last uh, real chunk of games we had at home, and so since then we've known we have to grind out points away, and we have done that. Uh, but I don't think their approach should change just because we're at home. Play the same way. We've got to win 2-1 or 3-2. Um, I think it's always nice to play at home. I think we should have some good crowds this weekend, so it'll give us some energy, And uh, but the approach shouldn't change. we got to be willing to grind for 60 minutes and uh, you know be good in special teams and, and uh, that's the recipe at this time of year regardless of, of what kind of lineup you have so uh, that's what we'll look to do. Speaking of special teams it has been on the upswing you guys have three power play goals in the past two games and I believe a shorthanded goal also what's kind of been working How, what's caused that? I think for the last little while last month three weeks uh, we've been better on both sides both sides of the special teams I think it's a uh, Combination getting a little bit older, getting a little more experience. That's where those guys really shine, and uh, you know we've we've been sharper, and that's what's been necessary for us to win. So we got to keep it going, and uh, but I think we have a good group. We kind of know uh, what we need to do on both sides of, sides of it, and just a matter of executing. So um, it's up to us to keep that going. So you guys do have a lot of veterans in the special teams. Power up Cody Francis, I believe, on both. How does having that veteran presence help in those situations? Well, I just think uh, you know those five and fours both ways it's just a matter of uh, it's matchups it's options it's trying to take away you know defensively take away the most dangerous um, you know lane and, and maybe forcing you know, the power play into doing something that's not their first choice and uh, but it's a constant assessment of what's what's important what's not and uh, when you've been through it when you've seen seen a lot of those situations it's a little bit easier to make the right read and it's same thing on the power play um, you got to take what the opposition gives you there's certain things we're trying to do but uh, in the end, we got to take, take what's available and execute. And uh, the guys who've been around, um, it's maybe a little bit easier to do that. The club is officially out of playoff contention. Is there any worries? I know you've talked about in the past of you know, more call-ups or anything like that, especially in a, a, a race for you guys. Yeah, it is what it is. It's nothing we can do about it. Um, the guys that we put on the ice are good enough to win. We, got some, uh, we have some depth, and you know, whether it's uh, – you know, some guys coming in late here, extra bodies, uh, you know, probably they'll get an opportunity to show they can help us. But, um, you know, we can't control who's in or who's out as far as injuries or call-ups. Um, a lot of teams are in the same boat, so we just got to get it done. I think, you know, we have been, you know, there's seven or eight guys up now, and we've had four or five guys out injured for a while now, and we get points anyway. So that's, uh, that's what we expect. You talk about having the depth, and a lot of it is coming from rookies on the team. And you have, I think, five or six rookies now that have double-digit goals on the season. What is it like to have that kind of development and energy from the young guys contributing? Yeah, we need it. I think uh, we need energy. It's important. You got that enthusiasm and that hunger and competitiveness. It's, that's what's required to win. So um, a young guy gets in, he's got to bring that. And uh, you know, it's no guarantee how many shifts they're going to get, but when they get out there, they got to do a job for us. And and uh, hopefully play in the offensive zone and, and create momentum. And uh, so that's what we're looking for. You know, certain guys are obviously playing more. We've got some young guys, some rookies, first year, second year guys who are really important for us. 
and that's we need that too. So um, it's uh, obviously we, we're going to need everyone here. And a big thing for you guys as well that you've been really good league-wide in goals, you know, decided by one goal, one goal games. You guys have really been able to grind it out when you have those close finishes. Is that something that you guys take pride in when you do have those close games going down the stretch that you are able to stay in and push it out? Yeah, I would think we've gotten better as years gone on. You know, there's been early in the year we kind of let some points slip away, uh, whether we're you know we're up a goal late and get scored on six on five or um, you know uh, tie game, give up we got to give up a couple of late ones. I think that's gotten a lot better as the year has gone on. It's just situational awareness and, and knowing uh, what type, you know, what kind of situation we're at in the game. We got to win a line. We got to win a battle. Got to really bear down. We're doing that, and uh, we're getting rewarded for it. For Jeff Glass, obviously, he's never been to the playoffs in the AHL in his career. Uh, what does that mean for you to try and get him to that position and get him in that, that postseason experience? Um, I mean, of course, we want to get in. I don't know that it's. Uh, that he's special and that he hasn't been in. I mean, he's experienced. He's been around American League. Yeah, okay, but he's been in the KHL. He's he's played at a high level. So um, he's a guy we look to. He's got some experience. He's been there. And we have some of those guys, which is nice. Um, we we look to them to come through in, in the tough moments. And, uh, you know, he's been really good recently. Um, you know, I think both goalies have been really good. But certainly he's got that experience that's uh, nice to have back there. Martinson and Sakura have been together for most of the season and one of the more consistent lines. What are you planning, what are you expecting from Tyler now that Martinson's gone? Same. Just got to play the same way. Um, you know, it's it's uh, obviously Marty is a big part of what we're doing and they've been good together, but uh, you know, someone else got to step in there and do a good job. And, uh, you know, certainly Sakura has been, play, plays a lot of situations for us now. He's earned that right and he's just got to do more of the same. You know, his approach shouldn't change because there's a different guy beside him. Are you hoping one of the goalies gets super hot and you can ride that guy through this playoff race, or would you prefer being able to split the time and keep guys fresh? I think they're both hot right now. I think they both played really well. So, um, you know, I don't think we need to wish wish one way or another for, uh, for anyone to drop off. We want them both at a high level. Uh, there's a lot of games in, in a short period of time, so you know, both guys will get in and uh, ultimately We'll let it play out. You know, one of the new young guys is Kyle, who just joined the team. Uh, is there going to be an opportunity to get him some ice time, do you think? How do you plan to use him? And what, what do you hope he gets out of this brief experience here? Yeah, well, we saw him in Traverse City and, and uh, made a good impression there. And he, now he's gone back to junior and, and had a good season. So, um, you know, the last couple of days, we just kind of see him, get him around the group and in some meetings and uh, show some video and hopefully get him as comfortable as we can so that if he does get the opportunity, uh, he'll be as ready as he can be to, to help us. Uh, when that's going to be, I don't know. You know, it could be Friday, it could be Saturday. Uh, it just kind of depends uh, on how things play out. We, uh, we're we're going to wait till Friday to see what we have and as far as the lineup, and, and we'll go from there. On a more personal level, what does it mean to you as uh, you know, it's your first year coaching in the AHL to be right in the thick of the playoff hunt, and what do you think that you need to do, your team needs to do specifically to get in? Well, it's fun, first of all. Uh, we talked about and within the group in there that uh, we want to play big games. We want to play important games. That's, that's, what you're, that's why you're playing. You know, we're all competitors, and, and so we want to be in those situations. You know, I think for the development of our young players, it's, it's really important that we're in a battle right to the end to make the playoffs. I think that's a great development opportunity, no matter how big your role is, just to be around it and to start to understand what it takes to be a winner and have success. Uh, you know, in, in big situations, and then uh, you know, playoff-wise, same thing. Like, what a, what an experience it could be to get this group in and you know, play around maybe too. Hope, you know, go as far as we can go, and uh, I think that just makes you stronger in the end. And hopefully, when you do get that chance uh, at the NHL level, maybe you're a little bit more b battle-hardened. And uh, so that's what we're looking for. That's how we see it as an opportunity.